What's up, everybody? Big Ox Triple Six here, the Golf Gamer. So check it out, man. I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, and I might be going everywhere with this video. So can you please bear with me? So I've been playing video games for a long time. I still have my NES, 64, PlayStation stuff, Game Boy Advance. Game Boy, Game Boy SP, PSP, PS Vita, freaking Game Gear, um, Wii U, Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X, Nintendo Switch and stuff. So I, I have a lot of systems. Hell, I'll, I'll just start playing Final Fantasy Adventure on my um, Game Boy SP just because I just, I just felt like it and stuff. It was pretty still pretty good game, but you could buy that um, game on a collection amount on a, on a Nintendo Switch. I recommend it. Definitely do. But um, what I'm trying to say is, gaming is an expensive hobby. It's always been. I remember Vader. Remember these these two things when I went to GameStop. Um, me and my dad back in Austin. I don't know where where we at in back in Austin. Um, I remember getting Perfect Dark. It was about sixty, sixty five bucks when I first got it. I didn't know about the expansion pack, so we had to go all the way back because uh, I live in a small town. And, Austin was like two hours away, so yeah, it kind of kind of freaking sucked ass. Um, when I got Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time for Nintendo 64, that thing was about seventy dollars, and that was back in like 1997, 1998. So yeah, that was a long freaking time ago, and I know these games now are freaking seventy dollars. Hell. Sony wants freaking eighty dollars for Horizon. Um, was it freaking? Um, was it Forbidden West? Yeah, Forbidden West, because they want you to buy the PS4 version and also the PS5 version separate, unless you want to pay the eighty dollars for it, which is freaking stupid because that stuff should be free. But that's just my opinion and stuff. But Sony, Sony being cocky again, just just saying, because freaking Jim Ryan wants every little bit of freaking money from us, which this is why I don't freaking trust these companies. These companies are not your friend, and people still freaking defend them by any any means necessary. But they backtracked now, because before, you didn't have a PS5, which they're hard to find, of course. You want to play for horizon forbidden west you buy the ps4 version well if you want to buy the ps5 version you have to buy that whole thing all over again you have to buy up another disc or buy it buy digital you know which that would have been 80 dollars for the bundle and stuff instead of you getting it for for free like xbox smart delivery if you buy a game from you know xbox one x or one S, you get an Xbox Series X. That smart delivery, that upgrade will be free. That's 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 how it is compared compared to Sony's. Unlike Sony's, sorry. But what I'm getting at, gaming is expensive. All right, very very expensive. But I want to talk about these SSDs. Now, Microsoft has. I guess a external or internal it's it's if if you look at um, the PS2 memory cards it's the same exact thing for the Xbox that you slide in the back and it's one ter one terabyte I know uh, I think it's from like Seagate if I'm not mistaken I know it's supposed to be um, when it first launched it was like two hundred twenty dollars two hundred fifteen dollars roughly around there and that's that's American 
um, Sony fanboys laughing about that, saying, "Oh, that stuff's too too expensive." Ha 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 ha. Your your guns are freaking overpriced. Well, Sony has finally announced certain um, NVMe PCIe M.2 SSDs for the PS5. It's 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 still in beta. So I'm not in the beta phase, so I could actually buy this thing, but it still won't work. And some of these um, SSD, you have to have a heat sink. You could buy it without the heat sink. If you don't know what that is, basically it's a little metal piece that co confines that heat into one spot because these SSDs get extremely freaking hot. All right, so Sony required you to buy a heat seat and you can you just can't buy a regular heat seat that's another thing what about sony is um some of these heat sink some of these some of these um i'll get that in a little bit but the price of these heat sinks okay this western digital for one terabyte one terabyte with the heat sink all right that's included you don't have to buy it separately Two hundred and forty nine dollars. I'm trying to look for a freaking two terabyte. All right. Just for the PS5. And apparently some people that's in the beta, the heat sink is actually faster than the SSD that's on the PS5. So you got to look which one that's faster than a PS5 SSD. The Samsung 980 Pro 1 terabyte is 189 and that's without the heat sink. Okay. Buying a, a certain heat sink, which is on Amazon, Spawn Wave, and other YouTubers, you can actually find which certain heat sink they have. You can easily find find a freaking YouTuber, a good one, that will leave the actual um, description below on Amazon. So it's not that hard to find. All right. What I'm trying to say is these games have been very, very expensive, man, for for the long longest time. And these bomb and uh, check it out. Microsoft made a whole lot easier to buy this external or internal um SSD, buy it, slide in the back, don't have to deal with it, okay? Sony, on the other hand, these soccer moms, these freaking um, Jimmy, little Bobby, won't know this stuff. You come to my, you come to most of these YouTubers, these gaming YouTubers, know what we're what we're talking about know what we're doing hell i just freaking um took apart my ps3 controller because it was acting funny it was spazzing out pushing all these different type of buttons you know what i did i looked it up and i did a youtube video i watched a youtube video it took less than 10 minutes it was not that freaking hard to do but some of these um, soccer mom don't know how to do this stuff. They don't know how to put in an external hard drive. They don't. I have seen them before. Seriously. And my girlfriend's alarm going off right now upstairs. So it must be uh, about yeah 8.30. Hey, Google. Stop. There you go. Thank you. Google's superior to than Amazon. Just saying. <laughs> if you watch my video, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, some of these soccer moms don't know how to how to do this stuff unless you you worked on some type of PC before, or you know, some type of console. I put an external hard drive, uh, internal hard drive on my PS4. I done it with my PS PS um, three, so I, I know. Um, what to do 
it's not hard, but like I said, some of these soccer moms don't know how to do that. I watched Spawnway's podcast, and there's he he worked on consoles for the longest time, and other people that I, I listen to, Nate the Hate, freaking um, video game outsiders, and they say the same thing. Most people don't know how to how to do this stuff, man. They they don't because it's not um, new to them because. They're doing other things instead of playing video games, all right? <laughs> Jeez. But what I'm trying to say is getting a certain um, heat sink because you have to have a certain design, a certain spec of a heat sink to actually fit into this PS5. Unlike the Xbox, you just slide in the back and be done with it. Yeah, there, there's a certain design of certain heat sink that you have to put in the, in, in the PS5. And that's going to confuse a bunch of people. So what they're going to do is actually delete space. I think RGT85, another YouTuber, he's not he's not going to deal with it. <laughs> he's he's not going to deal with that crap. So he he's going to freaking just delete games and and reinstall them. That's what he's going to do. What you can do, actually, what you can do is let's just say you have a PS5 game or Xbox Series games you, you don't want to play anymore. You could actually move that mofo to your external hard drive but you can't play it that's why i did with call of duty but i was like you know what i'm not playing this call of duty game anymore i was just gonna freaking i put put on a my a four terabyte external um hard drive and i was just like gonna leave it there but i told myself like, i'm not gonna play this game anymore screw it who cares about the, about the multiplayer i already beat the story so i was already done with it so i deleted it and you can you can do that you can you can do that which is a good thing and stuff so what i in my mind what these um soccer moms i'm just being be, I'm not trying to be the stereotype but the people that don't know how to do this stuff all right they're probably gonna buy have somebody either do it for them or not mess with it at all because to be honest just just saying because my girlfriend did not know how to use ps5 she she's not not tech savvy like what so whatsoever like seriously i had to actually show her a few buttons how to how to use ps5 eventually she got it but you know she's not like freaking computer savvy like i am I, I know I know a little bit about computers. I know like what to do and you know how to freaking tear tear stuff down and all that type of stuff because I do it multiple times. Now, what's funny? I have to um, put back together a Joy-Con. I haven't done it yet because I feel like messing with it. To be honest, because my girlfriend's friend was her friend, so. She, find out she stole something and stuff i'm sorry going anywhere with this video um she wanted to switch a case on nintendo switch joy con and stuff and she didn't know what she was doing she didn't watch youtube and stuff and I, and I like woke up and you know what she did man check it out she literally about to throw the stuff the joy cons all that stuff away in, in my trash even the um, the Joy-Con sliders, the little extra buttons for the, when you slide the Joy-Con, the little black Joy-Con when you play just the Joy-Con itself, the single Joy-Con. Oh my gosh, can I, what's the best way to explain it? You know that little black thing when you buy a brand new Joy-Con, that little two buttons that goes on top of the Joy-Con that you want to play individually and stuff? She was about to throw that away too. So luckily my girlfriend told me about it. She got out at the trash, the trash and told me about it. I was like, what the fuck is this? You know, so basically I have extra joy cons I need to fit. Matter of fact, talking about these, this stuff being expensive, Nintendo did the same thing, man. Nintendo did the same thing. Check it out. I have to buy a bigger micro SD card for my Nintendo switch. I think, I think it's, a, I think it's a 200 gig. I think it is. Um, you're better off buying, buying the cartridge because you save save more space. Just saying, but be, before I 
I, I think I got my Nintendo Switch used for year one and stuff. Um, you had to buy a micro SD card because one game, I think it was like 32 gigs. You know, that's that's not enough for, for like two games. That's basically like one. That's basically like Breath of the Wild and that's about it. So you had to buy a micro SD card for it. And on top of that, if you buy it used, you don't have that little, that doggy little little pad which i fucking hate the design i fucking hate it it's it's freaking horrible so i bought me a freaking um i think a 50 dollar. i got that on sale on macari uh, a 50 dollar um pro controller which is amazing you, you might as well buy a nintendo switch pro controller because it's superior than a ps5 and the xbox series x controller just saying it's very very better it has 80 hours into it just saying <laughs> all right but um you had to buy a micro SD card. You had to buy um, um, crap Joy Cons for it, Pro Controller for it. I mean, if you if you want, they have third party controllers that you could buy, but that you 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 you're wasting money. I'm telling you, buy the Pro Controller. You will be satisfied with the battery life. I am I am telling you. So also Pro Controller. Micro SD card and hell, if you didn't have the the, the light version, you had to buy an extra Joy-Con, just just because if you have other friends that you want to you you want to play and stuff like Super Smash Bros. all that crap, so you had to buy an extra freaking Joy-Con, and you know how the Joy-Con drift is. Now that I haven't got it personally, seriously, but um, I have three now. But I bought my other Joy-Con for like 50 bucks in my car as well. I had a, I had a great deal. I, I sort of talked him down and stuff. But yeah, these stuff, these gaming is expensive. Very, very expensive. Very, very expensive. So, you know, Nintendo same freaking way with their stuff too. They just try to try to like seem that it's actually cheap device, which in reality it's not because you have to get, a, get the, these other things for it. Especially the Joy-Con issue, man. I, I have seen on Reddit, I have talked to people in the real world about the Joy-Con issue. 70 bucks a pop. And I've seen people buy eight Joy-Cons. Eight. That's a lot. That's, man, that's a lot. Whew. That's crazy. And most of them have freaking Joy-Con drift, which sucks, you know. But anyways... What I'm trying to say is, man, gaming has always been expensive, especially on, on PC with the graphics cards and stuff. Even though the um, 3080 and 3090 are scalped right now, but they're still freaking expensive. And I'm telling you this right now, these gaming consoles has always been PCs for the longest time longest time even the beginning of the ps3 days you know why you put a disc in or download something what do you have to do you have to update the system okay so basically what that means it's a mini pc even with the nintendo switch you have to update that game or update that system mini pcs no matter how how many times you put it it's a it's a PC, man. It's always been like that one the PS3 and the PS4 days and the Xbox Series days. Now in the beginning of the PS3, it was you could buy stuff on on a disc. I remember that because I was I was there day one. I paid five hundred eighty nine dollars for mine. Um, backwards compatible PS3, which I still have that month. Well, I don't have that version, but I still have a backwards compatible PS3 still. So that thing's working like a champ and. That crap sucked that my controller was messed up, man. Man, that crap sucked, but I got it fixed, so I'm happy. But that's it, man. I just want to talk about this stuff for the longest time. I've been trying to do this video for about an hour, and yeah, <laughs> it's finally, finally, I'm finally satisfied with this video. Um, I'm actually ahead on my gaming this, this year. I'm at 33 games 
this year. It's usually I beat games usually um, thirty five a year, but I, I'm ahead, man. I might I might get to thirty six, thirty seven because I, I might I might be done with this Neo game. But I just finished Halo One. Uh, me me and my friend are doing Halo Reach now. Um, hopefully reduce do some today, but we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, man, that's about it, guys. If you like the video, get a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, what do you guys think about these SSDs? Eventually, guys, eventually these things will be going down on price. You just have to wait. But to be honest, personally, um, buy, buying a PS5 and a Series X right now, personally, I don't think it's worth it. Not until freaking maybe next year. These consoles should have been delayed. And, you know, I, I thought Horizon... Forbidden West will be coming out this this year. Nope, it's gonna be delayed next year. Horizon of God of War is gonna be delayed like next year and stuff. But the system are are good with the um, old games. They run a whole lot better. I, I I can admit to that. Especially the Xbox, the old Xbox games. They run a whole lot better, and the um, the app system installed on there runs a whole lot better. But that's about it, guys. I'm rambling on this Big Ox Triple Six. Y'all stay awesome. Wear your mask. Stay healthy. And watch out for weirdos. i see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Have a good one.